As a Franciscan sister of perpetual adoration. 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 And I'd love to hear, how do the vows free you? What do the vows free you for? I think they free me for service to the Lord and for uh, time for prayer, which I would not have time if I had to do, all, you know, do other things. But it's more in the service of the Lord. What does the service to the Lord mean for you? It means that I'm out there to help anybody that needs help. Uh, when I was a teacher, I taught. When I was a hospital chaplain, I did that work. And around the mother house right now, I just do whatever I can to help anybody and help cover the hours. Yeah, the adoration hours. That's right. What does is, what is the, the prayer practice of adoration mean to you? Well, it means everything. Mm. That's why I joined this community. Yeah. For perpetual adoration because I love the Blessed Sacrament and I love being there in prayer. How do you um, experience how the Blessed Sacrament and, uh, and adoration is connected to the vows? Is there any connection for you? A big connection. I mean, this devoted to the Lord and the Blessed Sacrament is devoting our life to service of the Lord <clears throat> and um, also. Um, this is my connection with the Lord and the source. What does it mean to you to live a Eucharistic life? Well, it's a prayerful life, and it's a life in service of others. When you think of the Lord in the Eucharist, is the service. His service is at the beck and call of anyone, and so should our service be mm -hmm. in our closeness with Him. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Anything else you want to say? Well, it takes courage, it takes faith, and it takes a lot of love to live any kind of life. But I think when you're in this kind of ministry and in this kind of life, you have so much more help to carry out what you need help for. So what, does, what are your suggestions for a woman who's thinking about being a sister? What would you say to her? Pray about it a lot. Yeah. And um, talk to people that would be able to be helpful for you and give it a try. I mean, there a lot of people that have come that didn't figure, find out it was for them, and this is the freedom you have before you take your vows. If you find out it isn't for you, mm -hmm. you're free to leave. When you get married, you're married, period. But, Good point. Um, but when you take vows for a religious life, you take them temporarily and then for life. And if it isn't fit for you, you're free to leave. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. <laughs>